Well, this Earth Day, volunteers from the community are helping Port Everglades improve the quality of South Florida's waterways. The way we're doing that, oyster shells. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. NBC 6's Social Hernandez tells us how oysters make our water better. What better way to celebrate Earth Day than by reusing and recycling? These shells were previously shucked and actually donated from a restaurant outside of Broward County. And now they're being drilled and prepped to be thrown back into the waterways in order to clean the water. Volunteers are drilling holes in these oyster shells and stringing them through wire, creating ropes to hang in waterways in Fort Lauderdale private residences and the New River. Eric Newgard with Port Everglades explaining the process behind why. When oysters are babies, they swim. And when they, they'll find a place that they like to live and they'll put down basically their roots, they'll settle on a shell. And we're going to take these oyster shells once the babies are bigger and we're going to create oyster beds in areas where they used to be. Citing land development as one of the main reasons behind destroying habitats where oyster shells once thrived, harming Florida water quality. Quality is degraded and oysters are one of the fundamental resources in our waterways to naturally filter uh, these waters, provide habitat for fish. According to these conservationists, one shell can clean 50 gallons of water. Yes, we can't do it without everybody working together. It, we really need collaboration. Organizers encouraging Floridians to call up conservation groups like Coastal Conservation Association or Residents for Resilience to see how they can get involved. And say, I would like to get involved. I would like to, to put some oysters on the back of, of on my dock. Conservation groups are working to get a permit to dump these oyster ropes into Fort Lauderdale waterways. But in the meantime, it's all hands needed on deck to drill these shells. Sochi Hernandez, NBC6 News.